Hello everyone, Alicia here with another Lined Up Weight Watcher Friendly recipe. And today's recipe video is gonna be for sheet pan barbecue chicken and veggies. Now I love the sheet pan meals, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, doesn't matter, I love them all. And not only are they fun to make, easy to make, they have very easy cleanup. So definitely kind of a go-to for me when I'm busy and right now we're kind of finishing up our move. Still kind of trying to get our house set up and get through those last boxes, get everything organized. So definitely really busy and trying to keep our meals as simple as you know I can. And so I like to do the sheet pan meals. And this one also is a great one for meal prepping. That's kind of how I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna make it and then I'm gonna prep the individual dinner so we can just kind of grab and go and it's gonna be as easy as possible. So I thought I would show you guys this one because again, very easy, very low in points, high in protein, but very tasty. And cleanup is just a snap. So let me jump into ingredients real quick and I'll show you what you're gonna need to make this. So first off for the chicken, what I've got here is three large breasts. It's boneless, skinless breasts. It's almost three pounds, just under. And for that, I'm gonna make kind of a barbecue sauce for it. And that's gonna start with some sugar-free barbecue sauce. This is the Sweet Baby Ray's type. And I've got a third cup of that. To that, I'm gonna add some hot sauce, about a tablespoon, and then a tablespoon of this Lakanto Golden. So on to my veggies. What I'm gonna be having are some potatoes. These are just little petite potatoes. I've got a pound and a half of these that I've washed up real well. And then back here I've got three heads of broccoli. So for the potatoes, I'm gonna be using a teaspoon, Italian seasoning, teaspoon garlic powder, quarter teaspoon salt, quarter teaspoon black pepper, and then back here I've got some olive oil. I'm gonna be using a tablespoon of that. And then for the broccoli, I am gonna be adding about a quarter teaspoon of the pepper, quarter teaspoon salt, probably some of this garlic powder as well. And then I've got my little olive oil spritzer here. I'm gonna spritz my broccoli with that. And I went ahead and factored another eighth of a teaspoon of the olive oil for that broccoli. And that is everything. Like I said, really simple. So let me get it started. So first off, you wanna get your oven preheating to 400. And then here I've got a large baking sheet or cookie sheet. It is 13 by 18, I believe. And I'm going to just go ahead and Put a piece of parchment paper on it and then I'm gonna set that aside so it's ready to go when I need it. And then next up, I'm gonna take my broccoli and I'm gonna get it cut up into little pieces, not real small, but um, about like that. Now that I've got that all chopped up, I'm gonna pour it on the end of my sheet pan. And this is a lot of broccoli. You definitely don't need to use this much if you don't want to. And I might actually end up having to take some of this off because I had a little bit more than what I intended. So I'm gonna take just a little bit of that off. Okay, so next up, no. get my little potatoes all cut up and I'm gonna just cut them in half for the most part. So I'll get those done and then I'll be back with the next step. Got my potatoes all cut up. Actually, there's some that were, a couple that were so small I didn't cut them in half like that. But now I'm gonna take a large bowl. I'm gonna pour them in that. And I'm gonna add a teaspoon of that granulated garlic teaspoon Italian seasoning, about a quarter teaspoon or so of black pepper, quarter teaspoon salt, and a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm 
And I'm gonna just stir that until those potatoes are all nicely coated. That looks good. So now, I'm gonna take my sheet pan again, and I'm gonna pour my potatoes on the other end. Just kinda smooth them out on there. And I'm gonna remove some more of this broccoli, even still, because I gotta make room for my chicken. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is, real quick before I forget, I'm going to just salt and pepper my broccoli. Add a little garlic to that too, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna spritz it with uh, olive oil. Okay, now I'm gonna set that aside again. Grab my chicken breast. And I'm gonna take my chicken breasts and I'm gonna cut them in half lengthwise. And that's just for two reasons. One, so they cook a little faster. And two, so I have six servings with this. So I'm going to just cut them in half like that and then just lay them in the middle of my pan. So I'll go ahead and do the other two and then I'll be back. Now I'm gonna take my barbecue sauce, and at this point you could just put the barbecue sauce on all by itself, but I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of this Lakanto and a tablespoon of the hot sauce. Now I'm gonna just mix that all together really well. And then I'm gonna take it, and with the basting brush, I'm gonna just Brush it on my chicken. And I kind of move them and try to get the sides as well as the top. Just get them well covered. Okay, this is ready to go in my preheated oven at 400. And I'm gonna start off at probably half hour and then I'll start temp checking my chicken that's kind of the thing that takes the longest to cook with these. So I will be back once that chicken reaches an internal temp of 165. I let this cook for just about 30 minutes and my veggies and potatoes are definitely done. So I went ahead and temp checked my chicken. It is all at or above 165. So it is done as well. So I'm going to let this cool for just a little bit and then I will show you how I'm gonna kind of meal prep it um, or put it in the containers for meal prep and let you know also the points for this. I've let this cool a little bit, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my meal prep containers here. These are just glass. They're, I think, three, three and a half cup containers. Um, I'll put the link for them down below in the description box if you want to see what they are exactly. But I like them. I like having the glass. I had plastic ones before and I like having glass better. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of my chicken in here. And I'm gonna put my broccoli in. And then finally my potatoes. And here's how those are looking. So go ahead and put my lids on all but one, and then I'll come back and let you know what the points are for these. So I went ahead, put the lids on all those. Here's a little close up of what one looks like. The points on these are just three, which I don't think is bad at all. Like I said, very tasty, pretty filling, decent amount of protein, and yeah, not a whole lot of points. But that was barbecue chicken and veggies sheet pan dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you on the next one.